guys welcome back to the channel it is I almost said friday it is sunday sunday currently 6 p.m and we're here in arlington uh we're getting an order right now and it's trash you know what else is new the first one has come in so far by the way oh by the way random so we were gonna donate some clothes to like you know thrift stores or whatever goodwill and then i found my old high school hoodie which is you know the oten cougars it's a little you know it's a little dated it's a little it's a little you know worn but uh <laughs> I was like, I'm not donating this. I was like, let me wear it today. And of course, it happens to be extremely hot by March standards, in my opinion. It is like 75 degrees. You know, so yeah. But anyways, we're that we're starting so late because well, for one, I got home really late last night, and then in the morning we had this debate about going to see the cherry blossoms. I did not want to go see the cherry blossoms. I've seen the cherry blossoms and it's just like i said yesterday they're just they're just trees they're literally just trees um and on top of that there's no parking um and you could take the metro but they didn't want to take the metro so i'm like they were not going because i don't i don't want to deal with that traffic and stuff so we ended up going to founding farmers in reston had brunch i'm also not a fan of brunch i also think it's low-key like a ripoff but kids do eat free under six so i guess in that regard it was fine <laughs> but uh, yeah anyways we have our first order here i just accepted right now i think it's paying like 19 dollars four miles from chopped now the only issue is the parking but we are going to see if we can get lucky by the little strip area right here with some parking um but yeah so the plan is to stay here i want to i want to make at least 150 bucks uh that's my plan so can we make that happen i don't know how long that's going to take me it's impossible is it unrealistic i really don't know but we're gonna give it a shot. So let me find a parking spot and we'll see you guys at CHOP. Guys, you know the perk of having a small car is you get small spots like this. But anyways, the fog is gone. There's a bajillion people here, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get our orders picked up here from Chopped. Now Chopped, it's like similar to Sweet Green and like Sweet Leaf, you know. It's like a similar concept to Chipotle, but of course with a much healthier items. Uh, I never had them before, but People love him, so yeah. Anyways, it's been an interesting week. I think Empower has come through clutch a lot for sure. I wonder if they do parking enforcement on the weekends. They probably don't, but you know, we don't want to risk it anyways. Uh, but yeah, so they have this little shelf where it says pickup. You don't go to that shelf, you go over here. <laughs> oh, very good, guys. So we have Chris and not this one, we have Chris and Samantha. Where's the other one? The, you also have Samantha by any chance? Mm. Samantha? Yeah. Is this the right here? Uh, okay. Just a one bag? Cool. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Hey. Got the orders picked up. Let's go. Okay, guys, we got both orders dropped off. We're sitting at $19 and it's completely dead. We ran it back here to my little hangout spot here in Clarendon. We're currently sitting at 19 bucks for the entire dash. The time is 6.51. And I've gotten a lot of ride requests from Empower, but it, they're all bad. They're all bad. So we haven't done any yet. And I'm getting a trash True Food Kitchen order. Of course I am. But yeah, so we're just going to wait, be patient, and hopefully we'll see you guys real soon. Let's go. All right, so check this out. We get this order right here from Server Diner, and it's an absolute, but I, it's, not, it's not a banger, but it's a great order, right? Because it's low miles, pay is really good, and I get a text saying the food is ready. I'm like, yo, I'm hyped, right? I get here, I get, I get, you know, basically VIP parking. And I don't know if somebody fumbled the bag at some point, but the food was not ready, which is very annoying. So I went in there thinking we're gonna be in and out. And instead, we waited for like 10 minutes. So it is what it is. Current time is 7 11, and we are making our way to the drop off less than a mile away, four minutes. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we got the order dropped off here from Silver Diner. And what do you know, it's dollar peak. I had no idea, <laughs> but now I know. Uh, it's actually a $2 peak now, so the new minimum is $8.25. So when this order came along, as $9 from Rustico, two miles, psh, jumped on it. So we're walking to Rustico right now. I'm sure that I probably could have parked closer, but the odds of that right now are slim, considering it's so nice out. Um, so we parked the block away, it's not too bad. Uh, and then they sent me a stack, $10 from Uncle Julio's. 
I think it's an additional two or three miles maybe. So I think uh, DoorDash is going to be real busy today. So we'll see what happens. Now, I'm not expecting the order for Rustico to move. It's literally just a pizza, one pepperoni pizza. So, you know, that's not going to be that expensive. So let's start with these lights. There it is. But anyway, it's just Brugger's Bagels on the right. You know, they do provide some bangers sometimes, but you know, they close really early, like all the other bagel places. Um, but yeah, so anyways, geez, this thing is so loud. I was gonna say something that I completely forgot about. Oh yeah, yeah, speaking of finding old school sweaters, old high school sweaters, what was you guys' mascot? For me, it was the uh, Oakton Cougars. Why? No idea, um, but that's, that's what it was. So anyways, let me get this picked up. See you guys in a few. It's usually right here, but I don't see it. Uh-oh, that's not good. It's only a little pizza, so I thought I'd be ready, but it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. Give him a few minutes here, see what's up. Okay, guys, we ended up waiting like five minutes for the order of Rustico. I was surprised that it wasn't ready because it's just a pizza. Typically, they're always in their game. I guess today they were like short staff but i mean it looked empty but then i think a lot of the the seating outside is for them so i think everyone was, was sitting outside you know what i'm not a fan of eating outside like if i'm going to a restaurant yo give me a booth you know what i mean like i don't want to sit outside but that's just me though anyways they make it to uncle julio's and the shelf is full of food and it's all, all these orders yet mine wasn't among them but it was the next one coming right up so it wasn't the end of the world you know but i was like come on really what are the odds that out of all these bags, mine is the one that is not ready, you know? But yeah, I think it's gonna be real busy today. I think tonight with DoorDash, I don't even have any power at all at all right now. Right now I'm focusing exclusively on food delivery until about 8.30 or so. And then I think I might just, you know, we'll see what happens. Honestly, I'm not really feeling it today. I'm kind of tired. Um, so we'll see how long how long we stay out till, but I at least wanna make $100 for sure, at least. I know we started late. I get all that, so I also could be realistic about it, but I think a hundred bucks, it's not super unrealistic, you know? Maybe until 10, I don't know. So we'll see what happens. Current time is 747, a little bit of traffic. But then again, I can always just change my mind, you know? So yeah, but as of right now, we might not stay out till like, you know, three in the morning like yesterday. Uh, plus it's Sunday, do people go out on Sundays? I feel like I feel like they don't, but maybe, I don't know. I never went, I never went out on a Sunday, like, you know, to like a club or something or like a bar. I don't know. I think I think a Sunday is more of a brunch thing, you know. So, anyways, let me get this dropped off, and we'll see you guys. And Alrighty, guys, we got both orders dropped off, and they actually both went up a little bit, I think. So I think we just shot at fifty bucks. And then I get an order from Peter Chang, not to be confused with his cousin P.F. Chang. No, I'm just kidding. Never been here before. I think the order's paying ten twenty-five, three miles, two miles maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like a typical Chinese place, I think. Um, Let's see, let's see. Hopefully the food's ready here at uh, Peter Chang's. Maybe, let's see. Hopefully. Hello, hi, I'm just picking up for Jennifer. Jennifer B? Yeah, oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Okay, so we get orders from P.F. Chang, or P.F. Chang's, from Peter Chang, my bad. My, my, my bad, Peter, my bad. If we get orders from Peter, we're definitely gonna be coming back because the food was ready sitting there ready to go which doesn't always happen at pf chang's but anyways we'll see you guys in a bit Alrighty, guys as you can see it's not foggy anymore it's a beautiful night here in arlington it's the weather's great i don't know why i'm wearing this stupid hoodie from high school but anyways we have our next order here not from rustico which is right here by the way but from cava which is right next to it basically i think it's paying like 950 for like uh, i want to say two or three miles there is no peak pay anymore everything is gone it's just normal orders now. Man, I, I think I just messed up. I thought the sweet green was the Kava, <laughs> like the location, but I'm pretty sure that it's just on the next slide over, so it's not the biggest hike or anything. Plus, I saw a parking spot and I took it right away. They didn't wanna mess with that too, too much. But yeah, I think we are sitting at 60 bucks. So after this, we should be around almost 70. I do think I'm just gonna call it a night at 10. I'm feeling pretty tired. Um, but fun fact though, when I was editing the video earlier today, um, cause typically when I edit, you know, I do, it, I do it when everyone's sleeping or whatever, but today 
you know, my daughter was there and she's asking me like, oh, like, what is that? And I was like, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's me, I'm driving. And she was like, oh, can I see? And then we literally watch the entire video from beginning to end before I could even edit anything. And she was like really into it. She's like, oh, that's daddy, you're driving. You know, and he's like, yeah. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, typically, whenever I'm with her, I don't like to do that because I want to, you know, focus my time with her. Because I feel like I already miss so much because I'm working all the time. But it was funny to see how interested she was. And I actually let her borrow my camera because she has her own little hats. And the hat clip works for any hat, of course. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I can see her, her point of view when she's playing. Uh, and she likes watching that, too. So anyways, the, the cava is right over here, right in the corner. So hopefully the food's ready because I feel like I've been talking for forever. And man, I could have parked a lot closer, I guess. But it is what it is. Plus, a little bit of walking when, you know, isn't, isn't bad for you. But ideally, I would not park this far away. I would have parked a lot closer. Maybe do what a guy in front of the truck is doing. Just put your hazards on. Call it a day. Um, but yeah. Come on. Let's go. Guys, here we are at the Kava. I guess they're getting their stuff delivered already. I don't know. Do they have a shelf? Do they actually use their shelf? Because that would be awesome if they actually did. Laura, 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 Phoebe, Derek, Laura. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. It's good to see that they actually use the um, their shelves. The Kava and Reston is not fast enough, or they just refuse to use the shelf. But anyways, now we got a small little hike to the car. We'll see you guys in a few. You guys, we're back in the Dashmobile. We're only seven minutes away, 3.1 miles. And I'm so happy that the inner navigation is working right now because, you know, it's one of those things you don't realize how much you love it till it's gone, you know, uh, which is that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not too far. I really hope that we can hit $100 by 10 p.m. I don't think I'm asking for the world here, but at the same time, it might be kind of tough considering almost everything starts to close. So maybe Empire would come through clutch with one ride or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, overall, I think I had a pretty solid week. I really, I mean, to be honest, one of my, one of my best weeks on the, on the personal side of things. You know, celebrating my daughter's birthday, seeing her like so happy and spending time with the fam. It was awesome. But at the same time, we're still grinding, trying to make that money, you know. Um, I think if, I would, if this would have been a normal week, I would have already hit the goal for sure in my mind. The monthly goal. If I'm not mistaken, we should be pretty close to either 4,000 or like or like we just passed it. And I actually, you know what? No, thinking thinking about it, I think we're just shy of it. So, but I'm pretty confident that we are going to hit the goal 4,500 by the end of the month. We're going to make that happen. I'm technically off tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going to work. Uh, I mean, meaning dash. I think I'm just going to spend it with the fam and kind of just recharge my batteries. I feel like my my clock is all messed up, you know, because I do want to be up and er up up and early. I do want to be up early. On Tuesday, you know, do a little bit of dashing and resting, and then we're gonna go pick up the order from Pot Belly. The Pot Belly order is a nice 40 bucks in the bag every single time. But yeah, so, anyways, let me get this dropped off. We'll see you in the next one. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we got the order dropped off. And fun fact, we are back at the Eden Center, which is where I got my contract violation from. Not the Eden Center itself, but one of the restaurants here that I'm actually going to right now. Well, technically, that was the ghost kitchen, but right now we're going to go to Bibbly Bubbly. I got this order right away. It's paying, I think, $18.16. Um, going eight miles. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help the cost of reaching $100 here by 10 p.m., hopefully. Um, hopefully, it's ready. I'm slightly early, but I don't think that should be an issue. Um, look at this. I don't think this was here last time I was here. I don't remember seeing this big... Uh, you know what? I take it back. It looks kind of busy. Snap. So we might have to do a little, a little bit of waiting here. Let's see. And the music is so loud. Okay, guys. So we got the order picked up here from, I think it's called Bibbly Bubbly, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And that place right now, man, I would not want to be working there right now. Uh, like a group of like 20 like teenagers came in and I was like, Oof, man. But luckily, though, my order was re wasn't ready when I got there, but... It was ready shortly afterwards, which is awesome. Now we're gonna go to Donato's. Now if I remember correctly, a couple of videos ago, when I picked up a Red Robin, it said Donato's or whatever. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to Red Robin and that's that Donato's pizza. So I wonder if the customer knows they're just getting a Red Robin. 
Um, but we're basically already here. We're two minutes away. It's like on the other side of the shopping center, technically, but not really. It's like across a major road, but it's basically kind of connected, but not really. We're in Falls Church. Technically, it's still part of Arlington, even though it really isn't. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that the food is ready. Um, that's the one that's paying more, I think. I think that one's paying $12.75. I, I could be wrong, though. But anyways, we're over here trying to get to the other side. Um, and um, yeah, anyways, hopefully the food's ready. And we shall see you guys at Donato's Pizza, also known as red robin <laughs> anyways we'll see you guys in a few Alrighty, guys here we are at donato's pizza <laughs> also known as red robin hopefully it's ready um, oh and they also do a mr beast burger look at that how little sign mr beast burger pick up here um that's probably better than in rest and it's on the border which is trash now is the food going to be ready but nobody's here awesome uh, what about that one is that it yeah, that's it. But I don't see anyone. I don't want to. I don't want to just grab it. But I don't see like an actual worker that's working. <laughs> oh man. Maybe back there they can see me. Hello. Oh, maybe it's this guy. He looks like he works here, but I don't. No, I think it's him. I think he's gonna help us out, guys. I think so. Oh, just can't hear him back to the kitchen. Maybe this girl. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm just picking up uh, for Andrews. Yo, know, Andrews, sorry, Andrew. I think it's that Donato's over there. Yeah, and a, and a side salad, I think. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. And yeah, thank you. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. We got the order ready, guys. We got it. We got it. Andrew wanted to be healthy and got a small pizza and a huge salad. It's all good. No judging. We'll see you guys in a few. We got both orders dropped off. I've never been, I've never been more afraid to do a delivery before than, than right now. Not because of anything safety-wise, of all the damn towing signs. We're reading about Iron Power and it's absolute garbage. Um, because of all the um, all the towing signs. Like literally says like, you know, don't leave your car idling. There's no parking anywhere. And I remember a couple weeks ago, or maybe a couple, maybe a couple months ago, one of my subs here in Pentagon City got towed. You know, so like whole time I was freaking out, like, man, am I gonna get towed for this five dollar ninety one cent order, which is how much the um, the bubble tea one was paying. So they got lucky that the other guy that lives nearby ordered ordered the Donatos because he, you know, he carried the order basically. Anyways, we're sitting at $87 with some change, and the time is 9.48, which means there's no way we're gonna hit 100 by 10 p.m. I'm actually plotting my way home, and if I get something along the way, cool. If we don't, we don't. Overall, not a bad Sunday. I mean, short ship from six to 10. I think we could definitely, uh, it could have definitely been worse. You know what I'm saying? So, still thankful. Uh, and there's still time, so you never know. But as of right now, we're heading home. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so there must have been a flight that just landed at Ronald Reagan National Airport because I've gotten like 15 straight requests from the airport. Now, honestly, if one of those was going towards my house or near my house, I might do it. But not feeling any of those rides. And then this one comes along from Cava, which I'm pretty sure they're closed. Um, I don't, or they're just closed right now. But Dwayne here got his order in right before. so. Hopefully it's ready, and after this, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. If it does go up, it could put us at $100, which would be awesome, but it's doubtful, unlikely. It's just literally one grain bowl. Um, but I'm curious to see if the door's even open. What do you guys think? Yeah or nay, open or not open? Uh, they close at 10, so yeah, it's already 10. Oh, the doors are open though. Nice. I'm just picking up. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see here. Uh, Dwayne, cool man, thank you so much. Have a good night, thank you. Yes, they're, they're just close right now, so Dwayne got real lucky. But uh, either that or it's been sitting there for a while, because I noticed when I was doing yesterday's video, when I was editing the video, a lot of the late night orders have a lot more base pay, you know, so they've probably been sitting there for a while, nobody wants to take them, you know. But um, yeah, it's been a beautiful night here in Arlington. We're gonna make hopefully $100. I could have parked right here, but I'm not a huge fan of, you know, 
pulling up, putting my hazards on, especially because I know what it's like in Arlington, even though it is the weekend, it might not enforce a whole lot, but you know, if, there was a parking spot literally right here, like two cars back behind this BMW, so why not, right? Anyways, we'll see you guys in a dashmobile. Hey, Mr. Duane, I'm trying to dial your number here, but it keeps saying error on the call box. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm right in front of the door right now. Yep, it's good right now. Thank you. Cool, thank you. Alrighty guys, we got the last order dropped off and it brought us real close. I think it's like $96.66, if I'm not mistaken. But I already ended my dash. I'm basically home. But you know what? Your boy's craving some Taco Bell. Rare to actually crave the food. You know what I mean? So I haven't had Taco Bell in a while. It's probably going to send me to the toilet, but it is what it is. Plus, it gives me an excuse to get a Baja Blast. So we're pulling up here to my local Taco Bell. Give me one second. Let's see? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, could I get on number four, please? Can I get the uh, Baja Blast? Okay. That's all. Um, no, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. Cool, thanks. I mean, he almost, I, for, I don't know if you else caught that, but he said, would you like to donate for like their own fund or something like that? Taco Bell can donate. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what would I donate uh, if, they're, if they're paying, if they're, if they're working? Hold on one second. Let's see here. Hey, what's up, man? You said it's 953? Cool, cool, cool. Here you go. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Two thousand years later. Thanks, man. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay, guys. That felt like forever. I know it wasn't that long. I don't know if I, when I, when, I don't know if when I met in the video when I clip it a little bit. But it was like an awkward pause of like, here's your drink to the food's not ready. And, but it's all good though. Not, not, not that's gonna put me in a bad mood. I've had a really good week. Um, the current time is 10.58 and we're, you know, we're done already. I'm not, not working right now. We're gonna head home. We're gonna grub. And then you know what? We might even go live. I don't know, why not? Really get my money's worth here with uh, StreamYard. You know, so maybe, maybe. Anyways. Guys, that's the dash. Take care. Subscribe on the road to 4,000 subs. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.